let's get past some of today. I think we're gonna do a great job. Creativity takes courage. Henri Matisse. What's going on, guys? Ted Payton here, host of the Modern Man Podcast. Welcome back into another Monday Modern Moment. Today, I want to talk about creativity and the importance that plays in our growth and our personal development. Now, this is all based off of my free ebook that you can get in the description below, Mastering Self-Development, Strategies of the New Masculine. Creativity is something that has helped me accelerate into my professional career when it came to getting my first TV job. I graduated college in 2010, just after 2008, when a lot of cutbacks were made in the industry. Everywhere I applied, wanted experience. How do you get experience if you can't get a job? That's when I had the idea of actually creating and starting my own company, and I would forecast before work for the events that were happening in the area. Me and a few friends took some money, we threw it together and bought a camera. We started covering these events and I also noticed at work an opportunity to become a weather consultant for the cases that included weather phenomena. With the creative aspect of looking at my current situation in a different realm, I was able to build weather experience and get my first TV job years after graduating. I say that to encourage you to adopt the idea of creativity helping you get to that next level. There are a number of benefits that you can enjoy when you apply that creativity into your own life. Enhanced problem solving. Suddenly you'll find new ways to get over those obstacles that pop up ahead of you. Increased self-expression. You're able to articulate yourself better when you have more creative ideas and more creative intersections to work with empowerment and confidence with comfort in your creativity you could better approach uncertainty in your days and and even lean into challenges as you move forward now you might be wondering how can i develop creativity that's a great question there are a number of ways you can do it one i would recommend a practice called mind mapping Simply put, it's putting your ideas on paper in a graph form. What is your central thought and how do different ideas branch from one central location? Implement mind mapping, but experimentation, trying new things and engaging in new activities and new hobbies, things that you might have never done before. By doing new things, you gather new perspectives. New perspectives can give you a whole new view into old things. Embracing failure along the way. Looking back at failure and identifying what could you have done differently. Areas to improve and maybe perhaps get more data from a blind spot helps you better prepare for the next process that you undergo in the future. Finally, cross-pollination of ideas. Are you collaborating with other people? Are you learning different perspectives where if you see a six and they see a nine, have you tried going to the other side and seeing it from their point of view? Multiple ways to develop creativity and also lean into innovation, especially through collaboration. You wanna lean into curiosity when it comes to identifying ways to innovate in industry. Ask why, even when you're exhausted the first two layers. Continuous learning is another great way to be more creative and innovative in a certain industry. The more nuances you learn about a certain topic, the more you could see the dots which only connect in hindsight. If you're trying to learn more and lean into this personal growth even more, be sure to check out my free ebook, Mastering Self-Development Strategies of the New Masculine. Check out the Noble Knights Mastermind Group if you're looking for a group of guys already walking the walk, not just talking the talk. For our longer interview style episodes, be sure to check us out on Wednesdays and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to catch a new episode each and every single week. Like we always say at the end of the episode, guys, everybody wants the sunshine, but they don't want the rain, but you can't get the pleasure without first the pain. Let's grow.